we're doing all right so right here i've just shared two observations with you guys right there the cat chf observation and the euro chf observation at the moment now i'm only trading euro chf today tuesday 9 april right there so the only trade that i'm placing is on euro chf reason being let's look at cat chf first if we look at it, you'll realize that CAT CHF at the moment is stuck inside this liquidity zone right here. As you can see, wick, and then we form tops. We're continuously forming tops right there, and therefore I don't trust selling it at the moment while we are inside that zone right here. So I'll just skip CAT CHF and go towards Euro CHF because here's the thing on Euro CHF. As you can see, the market has pushed through to the upside right there. Let's go to the 90 minutes and have a look at it. Look at that. One, two, forming tops with that high right here. And then three to the upside into them. And then the market is starting to push down, creating bottoms right here. And therefore, we just liquidated these highs right there into this high right here. And then the market is starting to push down right there. So we are not stuck in some sort of a liquidity zone like CAT CHF. So I prefer selling Euro CHF as opposed to selling CAT CHF at the moment. Now... I don't see that this trade is one of the highest quality trades that I should be taking. However, I do believe that it is at least the highest quality trade for the day. And therefore, I'm willing to risk it. As you can see, the market has pushed through to the upside right now, liquidating this high. I do believe that we retraced a lot more than we should. Let's look at the discord observation right here look at this the market grabbed this liquidity through to the upside pushed down i do believe that the market should have retraced just this much and then pushed through to the downside into the liquidity down here however it didn't do that it retraced a lot deeper to the upside right here which lowers the quality of that setup however it is still the best thing that i have for the day and the way that i decide whether i want to take it or not is based on my personal account if my account is up today is 9 april so if my account is up for the month i don't mind taking an aggressive setup and a setup that i consider to be a little bit of less quality if my account is down in drawdown or around break even point then i am really conservative and will only take the highest of the highest quality right now this is the highest quality that i have for the day however in terms of general objective quality i do believe that that setup is not that much of a high quality i'll discuss that later but right now this is the trigger that i have this is the trade that i have so we'll see how that goes selling into right here right there i will protect my position as soon as we reach down into this one to two risk to reward ratio i will take partials and then let the rest run into my one to three risk to reward ratio here let's see how that goes hello everyone i hope you're well hope you're doing all right so when it comes to Euro CHF, the market pushed down into our partial area right here just below the 0 0.98 psychological level and is now pushing through to the upside. Now here's the thing, pushing through to the upside for you is bad news, for me is opportunity. So right here as you can see the market tapped into this area, created some bottoms right here and then started pushing through to the upside liquidating these highs at the moment. Now I do believe that Euro CHF can still continue to make it all the way up into these stops right here before making it down. So liquidating these stops and then making it down. So this is the way I'm going to handle this. I'm going to place an order just about here and then I'm going to place my stop loss just above there and I'm going to have almost the same targets right here. Now what I am going to do with this uh, setup right here is I am going to be trailing my stop loss on the first position towards break even. So if the market makes it up into this position and triggers me in and goes down, let's say, so those are the possible scenarios. The market pushes up, triggers me in, pushes down. If that happens, I win two positions instead of one. Good job. Now, if the market pushes further than my entry all the way up into here, let's say, or here or here, and then pushes down, then I get partials on this position, then break even, and then I get a full TP on that position. I get one profitable position and another partial position also good job now the third scenario is the scenario where the market pushes through to the upside into my stop loss now if that happens then remember partials on that position were taken and therefore right here just let's go and check the risk to reward ratio on that at one to two risk to reward ratio all partials have been taken so one r has been secured on that trade now what is my risk for that position it's also one r so if the market makes it up into our stop loss area right here our break even area then i made one r on that position which is 
uh, one R basically, one R then break even out. So made one R on that position. If the market makes it up into our stop loss right here, then I lose one R as well, and therefore one R minus one R. This whole Euro CHF scenario turns out to be a break even scenario. So notice that in all of the scenarios that I highlighted, there is no scenario where I actually lose any of my original capital. It's either I lose the partials that I made on that position right here or I get two profitable trades, or I get one partial trade and one profitable trade. Those are the three possible scenarios at the moment, and let's see how that goes. So, guys, as you can see here, we already shared with you guys when those positions were partialed right there in those messages right here. And then on the charts, as you can see, the market absolutely melted through to the downside, demolished our TPs, absolute meltdown right here. Now, this will be the end of this video, guys. Feel free to subscribe, notifications if you'd like to see more of that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.